This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. I'm doing some beginning machine learning lessons. The one I'm about to do is a transfer tool bind off that makes a very nice tidy edge. I'm going to show two transfer tool bind offs, but this is the better of the tool. This is the of the two. Now this is a transfer tool and it has a stick with an eye on it, like the eye end of a tapestry needle. And to transfer a stitch, you put this eye over the hook of a needle, pull towards you, push away, and then the stitch goes from the needle to this transfer tool. And then you put it on this, the first stitch. So I'm moving a stitch from the second needle to the first needle. And then for this particular bind off, back to the second. So it's two to one, and then back to two again. Then I'm going to take this, this end of the yarn and just knit through. Then I'm going to do the same process again from two to one. To two again. Bring it out knit it back. You can determine how long the loop is a little bit by just how far back you push it as you knit the new thread back from two to one and put them both on two again. Bring it all the way out. Knit them through. This is an excellent bind off for a situation where you need to bind off a few stitches at the beginning of an armhole. There are lots and lots of situations in knitting where you need to take off some of the stitches but not all of the stitches. And this one is just so good for that because it looks good, because it doesn't tangle on the gate pegs, because it's easy to do, and because the yarn travels on over with the knitting so the yarn's ready to knit the next stitch. See how each time this yarn is a little bit farther to the left. Now this can be done in either direction. So since it's so often done at the beginnings of rows, I'm just going to knit across and demonstrate a few stitches from the other direction. So I'm going to unthread and now I'm going to go from left to right a little ways. So imagine that I'm, I'm working on an armhole. I had to take a few off here. Now I'm going to have to take a few off over on the left. So again, I'm going to transfer the second stitch from the edge over to the first. Then I transfer them both to the second. Bring the needle on out all the way and then knit through. And then I'm going to go from the second stitch to the first, bring the needle on out, switch that here, and then knit through. Second to first, back to second, knit through. Second to first, Back to second, knit through, second to first, back to second, knit through. As many times as I want to, and as a matter of fact, I think I'll just go ahead and, and cast off the rest of the way. This is obviously a little bit more work than the other kind of transfer tool bind off, but the difference in the finished edge is so superior with this method that I recommend this when you've got to do armholes. You can do the other method and I will demonstrate it because I've certainly seen it at demonstrations and I've seen it in knitting uh, manuals. But this, this to me is a much preferable result and well worth the effort. Almost finished. Second. To the first. Over to the second. It's getting to be kind of a lot of weight. I've got a comb hanging down here that you can't see. So I'm going to take that off 
and then I'm just going to control this with my hands, I guess, since I don't have any weight on it. And then I'm going to take this one and put it on this one. And I'm at a needle, so all I have to do is really pull that off. And then I can cut the yarn. And pull this through the last loop. On the wrong side, here is how this bind off looks. Here are the stitches I bound off when I was going the other direction. On the right side, here is how this bind off looks. That looks an awful lot like a hand knitter's bind off. So I call this a tapestry tool. Uh, I call this a transfer tool bind off with a, with a chain edge. So you can clearly see the chain from the right side. 